Robin Williams brought joy to the world for 40 years in his career as an actor, but for one of his biggest roles, he was betrayed by Disney. Robin Williams was put on the map for movies such as Hook and Dead Poet Society, where in the early 1990s he was making $8 million a film. But for one of his most iconic roles, which was playing the genie in Aladdin, he was only paid $75,000. The reason he did the role was at the time he didn't even like the idea of doing voice acting, but wanted to do a movie with Disney just for his children. Disney originally offered him half a million dollars to do the genie voice, but he turned it down saying he didn't want to do merchandise. And there was an over-commercialization of kids' movies being turned into merchandise, and he didn't want his voice used in an action figure, so he said he'd take less salary if they didn't merchandise him. Disney instantly betrayed him on that, where a week after making that agreement, they signed a deal with McDonald's to use his voice in toys. That's why he didn't return for the movie Return of Jafar, and was then replaced by Homer Simpson voice actor Dan Castellaneta, and came back for the third Aladdin movie after Disney paid him a million dollars. Now fans are upset his voice is being reused in a new Disney short. Disney confirmed it is old footage, not AI, and his kids did approve it. Well, Captain My Captain, with that I'm Charles Peral, subscribe if you learned something.